Hi guys, so welcome back to another episode of Tiny Tastic Talks. Good to see you. If it's your first time here and you like what you're hearing and uh, you want to check out a few of my videos, then just click the Tiny Tastic Talks button just right down there and you will be able to see all the videos that I've made. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe right next to that, right down there. It would really help me out. So we are doing a big cleaning blitz right now in my house. So um, if you hear some background noise, that's what's happening. So I wanted to get a video out today because I just wanted to say hi. And I wanted to make sure you guys were doing good and I'm doing good and that, you know, and even if we're not necessarily doing very great, that at least we have some communication, okay? Because, yeah, I, I want to know how you're doing. And you probably want to know how I'm doing. So this is a health update video for you. <laughs> One big thing that I've been doing and trying to do and will be doing over the next week is edit my one year anniversary on YouTube. So I have to go through all of this footage, okay? All of, I hope you can see this, all of this footage so that I can have a nice montage of stuff to show you and to just like recap over the last year and all that fun stuff. So next week will be that video, but I have a, um, a few other interesting things coming up. I have a video that I'll be filming soon with my neurophysiotherapist. I know that that will be of help to a lot of you in terms of just figuring out answers and if you have any specific questions you would like me to ask him, then leave your comment down below and I will make a list as best as I can, as well as make sure that I encompass like a range of different symptoms and asking him about how to improve or ways to improve and that type of stuff. Because I know for many of you, you don't have that type of service where you live. If I can do my best to help you guys, then I feel like I've done part of my job anyways, in terms of just encouraging you and, and letting you see what's out there for you. Okay, so this is a health update, basically. So, so. health-wise, I saw a neuropsychiatrist two weeks ago and he mentioned that I mimic a lot of symptoms of post-concussion syndrome, which makes a lot of sense because of my sensory issues. So my brain can't handle... First of all, I have hyperacusis, right? We all know that. Then I have sensory issues where I can't handle like a lot of noise all at once. My brain doesn't know how to buffer that naturally. So if I'm having a conversation with someone and someone else around the table, they're having a conversation with someone else. It's like as if I can't focus in really as much as I would like to on the conversation I'm trying to have. So that gave me a little bit more of an idea of, okay, here's someone who's just met me for the first time and who is understanding my symptoms in a way that I haven't had them explained to me yet. So that was good in terms of just seeing someone else's approach and giving me some advice as to making sure that I continue to expose myself to noise and to pick one thing that I specifically want to improve on or see if I can improve on. And so my thing is public spaces. And so which that so that means the mall, that means the Starbucks, that means the grocery store. Lord help me. But I've been doing it thus far. And he encouraged me and he would encourage probably any of you that if you're looking to expose yourself or reintegrate yourself into society that you go to let's say the the mall for half an hour and that's your that's let's say your limit you go the next day for 35 minutes you add five minutes every time so that it's not like you're adding half an hour extra or you know an hour extra it's just very incremental so that your brain has a chance to be able to get used to things very slowly and it takes time i know because nerves and connections with the nervous system just take a lot of time because our brain just does different things sometimes. So anyways, I left there encouraged in that sense. We'll see what happens with all of that. 
things can improve, things maybe won't improve. It's all up in the air, right? That's my life, but I am getting better at living in the uncertainty of that because really we all don't know what tomorrow is going to bring anyways. So I'm just able to process emotions a little bit more now that I've been able to live with this for a little longer now. I'll do a separate video on all of that. So I am reading a really cool book called Rest. This is it. Basically it's about like work environments and yourself and how to structure your life in a way that would be beneficial to you in terms of getting the amount of work you need done but not sacrificing your sanity, your health, all that stuff. It's not necessarily like a self-help book or anything like that. It's just very informative and it gets you thinking about a lot of things and maybe things maybe before you were diagnosed with something or like RHS or something like that or FND and maybe what you want your life to look like in terms of work afterwards because I know for me in particular I was just overrun before I got sick and now after as I'm trying my best to slowly slowly reintegrate myself into work life this is just giving me a lot to think about and to make sure that I'm checking in with myself checking in with my body and my body's kind of become a barometer in terms of knowing basically if I don't quit by myself working like for a specific amount of time my body will say no either it will become more symptomatic I'll feel tired my eyes will feel strained etc and so that now is kind of allowing me to gauge a little bit more where I'm at with things like that so anyways thank you for listening I appreciate it I hope you're having a wonderful weekend whenever you're watching this I hope you are having a great day and I will see you next Saturday